Hi, my name is Jessica Rue, and I'm a freelance illustrator and author based in Nashville, Tennessee. My work often focuses on flora and fauna with subdued colors and intricate detail. Today, I'm going to show you how to add subtle motion to your illustrations using Adobe Fresco. Let's get started. First, you'll see I have the illustration I want to add motion to open in Adobe Fresco. Of note, I'm not an animator, but Fresco makes it very easy to add motion to your work, even if you have zero experience. Here I'm going to use both paths and frame by frame animation. The first thing I want to show you is that I have everything I want to move here on separate layers. I have a layer for my fawn, for the fawn's tail, the fern, the rhododendron flowers, the flowers and leaves, and that's essentially because you want the things to move on their own layers. I also have a top layer here of the fawn's leg. If I turn off that layer, you can see that the fern would cover it, and so I've added that to add a little bit more depth and dimension to the artwork. I'll first show you how to create paths to make your artwork move. So let's go to the fern first and click the motion icon here. If I zoom in, you can see that I have a small path drawn here, and that helps to add the subtle motion to make it really small and tiny. I can delete that path and draw a different one. And you can add lots of different effects and change it around to however you want to. You can add more ferns. Uh, you can scatter it so it moves about more randomly. Change the velocity if you wanted it to move really fast. So let's go back to how I had it originally. And we can move into the flowers. You can see here when I click path, that I have two separate paths drawn to sort of give it the motion as if it was in the wind, very, very subtle. And here as well, I have a small path drawn, but you can always play with all of these different options and experiment and see what works best for you. I also used frame by frame animation in this illustration. I use that particularly uh, to make the eye blink as well as to make the tail move. So let's start with the tail first. If you've ever used the timeline window in Photoshop, you might be familiar with this. You're essentially making a single frame per movement. So I have it going back and forth. If you open up the settings, you can play around with that as well. The frames per second, the playback mode, you can change to loop, play once, or boomerang, and there's a few other options you can have fun with and experiment with. I did the same thing here on the font itself to make the eye open and close. So as I scroll through, you can see those different movement states. And again, in my settings, I have boomerang selected. Now, if I go to play all, you can see the whole thing move at once. I hope you enjoyed learning how to add subtle motion to your illustrations using Adobe Fresco. Thanks so much for watching.